Moog's creation was a synthesis of that which had come before. He was able to take the technology and bend it to his will in a way that made it a beautiful sounding and creatively applicable tool. These are uh, tools of expression mm -hmm. and empowerment, yeah. and people like that. People like to feel uh, you know, empowered and people like to feel that they can express themselves. Mm -hmm. He took it a step further and said, how can I make this sound musical? Mm -hmm. How can I make this tool sort of not just something that does what it's set up to do, but right. something that allows the user to be creative mm -hmm. and go where they want to go with it. Right. There was a, a, an avenue of expression there that resonated with a, you know, a, a very broad group of people. And that was a massive, massive difference. And a lot of the synthesizers that came out at the same time as Bob's you know, modular work were just basically lab machinery. They made a noise. And it was really unpretty, you know, and it wasn't, it wasn't inspiring to the users. And that's why people were like, well, these Moog synthesizers are different, you know? The first time I heard um, the circuits that went into the Voyager, mm -hmm. I was just blown away. I was like, this sounds really good. Yeah. And, and you know, there's Bob just bench and beaming because he knew it sounded really good too, you know. Yeah. So when he got out of college, transistors were brand new, mm -hmm. you know. He saw that as the future of electronics right. and he, he had the foresight not to get stuck in the past. It was, you know, it was a convergence of a variety of factors that Bob Moog had the ability and desire to sort of draw together. No longer are you constrained to what a bassoon can do and what a piano can do, what a trumpet can do. Now you can kind of throw all three of those instruments into the blender mm -hmm. and, you know, put a little cherry on the top. You know, going, going through a design and saying, yeah, well, yeah. And I, I made an offhand comment to Bob saying, oh, the devil's in the details. And he says, oh, <laughs> God is in the details. And I was like, oh, <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Darn, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> it's like, okay. For those of us who love the analog sound, mm -hmm. I've never heard anything like it, and I still haven't. And I'm drawn to it. Well, analog's not going to go away. There's, why, why would it? I mean, the world is analog. 